Hi everybody, it's Saturday, July 6, 2019. What I'm doing here is I'm setting up a, uh, a really strong nucleus hive and it'll uh, split. So I went into a big hive and pulled out five frames of things out of a double deep. So I left that other one with 15 frames, added five blanks. Now, something that I'm going to show you here is if you come in into, when you're doing splits, if you're just trying to make bees, make nucleus hives, sell them, split and sell, split and sell, and you're never letting them build up, starter strips on a, on a frame are just fine. But if you're going to do, uh, if you're trying to make honey, and you're trying to do double deeps or even the single brood box method, and you need to relieve some congestion, you pull a frame out and you're going to put something in blank in. Um, what's going to happen here is on a really strong hive the bees are going to make the type of comb that they need well if they're really strong and really full guess what they're think they're on the edge of swarming so they think up oh, we'd better make some drones because we're going to make some queen cells next and they will draw out those starter strips in a bunch of drone comb and if you're doing um, mating and you want extra drones around and it's a good hive you like the genetics from it then it's a fantastic idea. It's a natural way as opposed to they sell um, green green frames. They're plastic. It's plastic foundation. And the embossment is the size of drones. And that's what they draw out and that's what they make. It's just funny how they, the way they work and the way they do it. But anyway, let's tear into this. Try and make this not too long of a video. Um, There's the starter strip. Now the starter strip style, these, um, you can buy these in bulk, a hundred frames, and if you put them together yourself and put the fishing line in, they're less than a dollar a frame. If you go with the ones pre-assembled and they've got the plastic foundation in them, such as this, these are about three dollars a frame. If you go with the ones that have what they call the Max Wax from Man Lake as an example, they put an extra coat of wax on this. Those are about four dollars a frame. So a dollar versus three or four. I see where it can add up to a lot of money. It really can. I get it. So let's go ahead and find this frame in here. Excuse me, honey. All the worker bees are girls, so they're all named Honey. Now I'm going to be checkerboarding this in, because I've got these five really strong frames. So in my process here, I will... Uh, That's just one that had some comb on it, some honey and nectar, a little bit of bee bread. So we're gonna put that uh, put that one in the top up on the side. It's starting to rain. We got a mixture of blue skies and there's one little cloud. But I'll tell you what, it's been hot. So I'll take a little bit of rain. This is another one that side has a bunch of nectar and that one don't have too much. So, we're going to put that up here. Now I've got a frame of old comb that I want to keep in use. And here is exactly what I was talking about, the drone comb. If you give them that foundation strip, if you give them just the starter strip, in a strong hive this is what you get you get all drones drone comb is always drone comb so i pulled it out of the big hive because i needed some drones and i got them and as these will continue to emerge and they'll be out and about in the yard because i'll be doing some more uh some more queen cells here later this month but um yeah if you don't want a bunch of drones then this is something to avoid on small splits, and if you're just splitting and splitting and splitting, they're fine. I'm gonna put this frame 
in the middle next to these other resources down here. Then I'm going to take these two. Which have a bunch of emerging brood and more bee bread and a bunch of emerging brood as well as some larva and even eggs and I'm gonna put those right there I'm gonna put the bee both sides are about equal on bee bread so I'm gonna put it right there this frame here has some uh, some eggs and young larva in there enough to keep them going as well as some food a bunch more bee bread I'm going to give them this blank foundation, nice clean foundation, right there in the middle. I'm going to give them solid foundation in the bottom. I will be feeding this particular split. Um, we're going to be feeding them really hard this time of year are natural nectar sources. There's things out there, there's tons of Dutch clover, and there's other things coming up, but for the next about six weeks or so, there's not much. Um, and I really want to encourage these to keep on going. They've got enough bee bread that they put away on their own that I'm not doing, pollen patties have their place. If you have no bee bread in the hive, if you don't have a lot, it might be necessary, some type of a dry pollen. I've got dry pollen sitting out, they won't touch it. They don't want nothing to do with it. I see them bringing pollen in, but the pollen patties are horrendous for drawing small hive beetle. So if, if, if a hive doesn't have the bee bread, then you want to go ahead and you're going to probably need to do something to keep them thriving and not just surviving. But if they've got tons of bee bread, if they're almost, they call up a hive honey bound, if there's just full of honey and no places for the queen to lay, well, it can also get pollen bound. So something, this is good that I'm pulling this out. That other hive still has three or four frames covered in bee bread. Plenty to get them through to the fall flow. Put this on here. I'm turn it around, I keep the colors in the front. And up in the upper section, since they've got a little bit of work to do down below, I'm going to go ahead and give them one starter strip because in this small hive, they should do okay. We'll just watch it. If they start drawing a bunch of drone comb, we'll rip it out. Leave that sit empty until tomorrow morning and then we'll put a queen in or a queen cell whichever we choose thanks for watching everybody